relax and lie down. This bed's got your health covered. What you're about to hear will shock you. According to a recent US study, nearly 200,000 American hospital patients die every year from preventable medical errors. 200,000. And the main reason given? The critical shortage of qualified nurses to care for them. Nurses are responsible for multiple patients at any one time. It's time consuming and takes enormous amounts of manpower. Patients are hooked up to a number of machines, each playing an integral role in monitoring their condition. The nursing shortage has meant that patients are only attended to every two to six hours. And so the question arises, if something happens, who will hear? What's needed is a device that not only reads a patient's vital statistics, but monitors them constantly. And the answer is in Hawaii. I'm in Honolulu, where Hoana, a local medical device engineering company, has developed a system that could dramatically reduce the number of preventable deaths in hospitals like this one. The lifeguard bed, or LG1, is a high-tech bed that reads a patient's vital signs without the need to be attached to machines. Sound like something out of Star Trek? Well, it's already saving lives. Normally, this patient would have electrodes, wires, cuffs and cannulas attached to his arms and chest. All of which require constant monitoring and adjustment to ensure his vital signs are recorded accurately. But not anymore. A patient's vital signs can be detected through contact with a series of switches or sensor pads that have been integrated into the mattress cover. These sensors can detect heart rate and breathing even through clothing and bed linen and that information is collected. So a patient's condition is constantly monitored even in the absence of a doctor or nurse. Hey, I see you're working on your care link. How's it going? Good. Going great so far. Yeah. See all their medications. Cindy Kamikawa is the head of nursing at this busy hospital. And she's very impressed with the new device. When we saw the LG1, we really saw it as an extra set of eyes watching over a patient, especially in the med surge unit. This is a unit where a nurse takes care of anywhere from four to six patients. They're not always at the bedside. They're taking care of another patient who may be going for a procedure. And the LG1 is constantly monitoring the heart rate and the respirations and providing us with that information. Clinical trials proved the LG1 is extremely reliable and accurate. Even when the military tested it in their medivac helicopters with patients dressed in full body armour, it never missed a beat. It means it can be trusted to work. And that means improved patient safety and more efficient use of staff. A lifeguard bed looks no different to any other. Basically, this cover has been zipped onto the mattress. Today I'm the patient. And right now, sensors in the mattress cover are reading my vital signs using digital signal processing. The pads feel my pulse and breathing rhythms just as a nurse would, and the results are recorded as digital signals. Computer algorithms intercept the digital signals and translate them into medical information, which the bed monitors in real time. So, as you can see, at the moment I'm breathing 14 times in a minute, and my heart rate is 63 beats per minute. If for any reason my vitals change abruptly, then the LG1 will instantly call for a doctor or nurse. Now, believe it or not, a major problem for hospital staff is patients going walkabout. But if I climb out of bed... For your own safety, please return to your bed. ...then I'm quickly told to get back in. And the LG1 even has a bedside manner, which can be useful for the elderly or children. Those alerts can be recorded in the voice of a loved one, which adds that level of familiarity. Get back into bed, Anna. Yes, Mum. To make it seem so hassle-free and simple took years of research. But LG1's creator, Patrick Sullivan, never lost sight of his goal. 
It was actually a near-miss personal tragedy for you that started you developing the LG1. Well, when my son was born, he had an arrhythmia, and I was a very concerned parent, so I, he was a little bit at risk for SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. So we brought him home with a, a, a monitoring device, which was a bunch of electrodes, and it was pretty chaotic and didn't work very well. So I thought, what if we could do this without hooking anything up to him? And it took us several months to develop it, but sure enough, we could actually do that. Now he's on the verge of capturing a market potentially worth three billion US dollars. That's the value of the one million general care beds in US hospitals. But with the nursing shortage expected to double in the next few years, the real value is in its potential to save lives. Even during the clinical trials, you saved someone's life. That must have been... It was fantastic. After years and years of work, there was nothing quite as, you know, liberating and validating as having this little email that came from a nurse that said, you saved somebody's life and that made all the difference. As the world's population grows and our average life expectancy increases, our hospitals simply can't keep up. The nursing shortage is a global problem. But the LG1 may just be the key to resting easy into the future. For your own safety, please return to your bed.